our industry, in particular our sector, the consulting engineering sector, fully embraces the principles um, contained in the construction charter. We believe that it is highly beneficial for our industry. It provides um, a lot of predictability. It provides uh, a vision through which we want to grow our industry, what it should look like four years from now and, and, and seven years from now. At the level of challenges, there are probably a, quite a few challenges. Um, on the one hand, uh, the first challenge deals with um, the client bodies embracing uh, the uh, BEE and the construction, construction charter in particular in terms of the way in which they procure services from our members. Um, now, in, in this regard, we really are going all out promoting the construction charter. Uh, we are working um, um, with other um, industry organizations. We are hoping that the CIDB will support the process quite a bit uh, in order to ensure that client bodies out there do embrace. At, at member level, in terms of uh, implementing, implementing the, the construction charter, I, I think that certainly the skills development um, is one key area that our members will find easily to embrace because we continuously um, um, do skills development in, in the various firms. Um, but other things like procurement and enterprise development are probably a little bit more difficult. Um, procurement is difficult in the sense that you really dependent on the level of transformation of your supplier. Uh, if, your, if your suppliers uh, are not transforming fast enough, uh, you're not going to trans transform uh, fast, with, even with the best intentions. So yes, we can put uh, pressure on suppliers to transform, but it's going to take time. Um, again, the enterprise development element is probably one of the most difficult elements to implement in terms of the construction charter. Construction charter is very prescriptive as to how um, enterprise development should be implemented in the industry. It's intended to make sure that it is real. There is no fronting, there are no shortcuts. So th there's a lot of um, um, documented evidence that you need to put in place. It's going to be relatively easy for the larger firms to actually uh, implement enter enterprise development strategies. Uh, it's going to be a lot more challenging uh, for for the more medium-sized firm firms to to do that, uh, particularly because um, the construction charter prescribes that it's got to happen within the value chain of the industry. So you can't just go outside the value chain and do enterprise development. So there's a lot of thought um, and 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 strategy that is required from from each firm. To, to, to implement enterprise development in a meaningful manner. The construction charter has provided a very useful vehicle for us to sit together as an industry, 14 organizations including uh, labor and government, to talk about the future of our industry. Uh, I think it was at times very challenging uh, but also very stimulating, but it enabled us to come up with a common vision of where this industry is going. The, the important thing is to try and maintain that, that vehicle and not allow it to dissipate. Although we're going to get a construction industry uh, charter council, which will chart the way forward and look at the feedback loop in terms of how we're doing, there is a need for the business component, whether they be contractors or, or, or built environment professions or consultants, to sit around the table and caucus and build on what we've uh, done in the past.